Loudmouth ghetto girl. Loudmouth ghetto. Loudmouth ghetto girl. Loudmouth ghetto girl. We might just get hit with the Rico. That's how they get on my people. They take somebody like Huey and they make them seem like Nino. I want to start this video so I can say something right quick. I'm sick and tired of you Negroes. They be giving my wife attention to where she be stopping me while I'm working. Her, on her phone, Facebook, and whatever she just read this chatty post from, I'm trying to work. Somebody say, I gotta read you this. And then after they read it, they like, I need to talk to you about this. So we finna talk about it. What you need to talk about? Okay, what is like, and you would tell me to turn the washing machine on. I told her to turn the washing machine on. Go turn the washing machine on. Okay, so what is like, what has happened that makes us so insane about our birthdays? Hola. Yeah. It's your birthday. We're here to party and sing to you. What makes us like as humans, like what makes our brain do that? to where people like spend all this money and um get stressed out and really have a hard time or really get in their emotions when they age 365 days which is this <laughs> amount of time that we have decided is a year and so now you know it's just wow like what if that really ain't even like how years are calculated it wasn't always how years were calculated. Years used to be 360 days in some cultures. In other cultures, they was different like time periods. So now we fixated on this 365 days and... What's your problem with my man Paul's happy because he's 41 years old? That was so specific. Now we're gonna have to edit that because that was so specific. What is, do you know how many people turn 41? You know how insane people are? Now I'm have 41 hate mails. But anyway, no. This person just like turned 41 and we have to, I guess one, let the world know and two, like, and I ain't gonna say I'm above it. Like I've never done this. I ain't never done that. No, I've never done anything like that out anywhere, not even in private. Um. But we feel like we have to like make this announcement and then like people validate us celebrating ourselves and that makes us feel loved by these people who really was trying not to hurt our feelings. Cause on the internet, that's what we end up doing. Like you ever like somebody's stuff? Cause you <laughs> like, they need this. They must need this. Like <laughs> why are you posting this other than the fact that you need a little bit of validation right now? I'm tired of y'all having seven dollars on your shirt. I don't like the seven dollars on your shirt neither. Forty-seven years old, you got seven dollars pinned up on your shirt. Just, but I'd rather you post your cash up. You might get scammed, but I'd rather you post your cash up. Did I mention I was trying to work? He was trying to work, and it just <laughs> stuff like this. This is this is. This is real life with me. That seeing that post makes me now go down this rabbit hole of like the psychology surrounding birthdays and how we are socialized into this game. Like even when we like, I don't, I don't even abide to that bull crap. I'm not even thinking about that. When your birthday roll around and somebody gonna be like, that means that it's, you know, it's a, no, that don't make it a thing. That means that that's what we've been, you know, indoctrinated with. And for what? 
Because, I mean, other holidays, I see why they push them like that. Because it's a money-making thing. And I mean, I guess birthdays is a big industry. You know what I'm saying? Like, every, a bunch of people doing it every day. Birthdays are a big buying industry. Buying birthday gifts. Buying balloons to say happy birthday. Renting bounce houses that cost hundreds of dollars. Here's your gift for making it another year. And I guess I could see like at one point in humanity, like it was a big deal when people made it another year. I mean, it still is, you know, like, and I guess, but I guess at that point it was like a celebration. Your mama had you. I should be giving your mama a gift mm -hmm. on your birthday. Definitely should. If I'm giving somebody a gift. I need to work. Because did I mention that I was working? Yeah. And I, guess I, go, I guess I'll go down deeper into the rabbit hole like of like American birthday culture. Like where did this birthday culture come from? Why are we so effing insane about Hey, somebody stop messing with me because I did. Yeah. I just remember that. And I didn't even know. This is the crazy part. It was a year or two before they said something again. And I found out why they had distanced themselves from me. And it was because I didn't validate a birthday. Yep. This person older than me. By like a decade. Birthdays cause big divisions with people. Like people fall out over birthdays and birthday parties and you know, the lack of I guess recognition or celebration on a person's birthday. And that's a lot of pressure to put on people. So everybody I know, I need to be getting everybody something for their birthday because I know you. Or like, I, sometimes I don't care. I don't ever care. That's my problem. I mean, you know, that's Ask my problem my with children, a lot of things but in life. Is they like, don't care. I don't care about that. And like, I don't want to, it feels like you almost in this, in this society that you almost pressured to care about other people's birthday. I don't care. Like, I love you on Tuesday, if I love you. Y'all didn't care about 14 years. <laughs> I don't care nothing about your birthday. I'm not, I'm glad you're here. That's what's mm -hmm. up. Anyway, so what we just get back to work, whatever. Hey, they be taking uh, weeks for the birthday. It's my birthday week, man. But I see, I've heard I was working. Month. Now I'm talking about birthdays. I've heard this is my birthday month. And it's like, but to me, that's like the people don't feel celebrated on a regular basis. And so they have to like have a planned celebration. And then it's like, there's this pressure around celebrating people. So they may get this false celebration from people because this is what you do when it's somebody's birthday. And so people buy you these gifts that no thought goes into. Like everybody, you know, like you're gonna get a card, <laughs> you're gonna get a. You get a card balloon. on the way to your house. Yeah, um, they signed in your driveway. <laughs> Not too many people putting thoughts into the cards they buy in or, you know. Good topic. Um, you're getting some balloons, possibly. And as an adult, what are you doing with these things? And I may just be very, like, gray with the way I think. But, like, what are you doing with these balloons and shit as an adult? I, I have come to appreciate flowers more as a, you know, the more that I get older. I like flowers more. But still, that can be a thoughtless gift. It can be like, I'm going to grab her some flowers. I'm going to grab him some. What do people grab dudes? Like, they don't even really put no thought into that. I'm going to put some money in this car. I don't know. I don't mess with it. And if you're going to do that, you might as well put some money in your car. I don't need you buying me some stuff. <laughs>
<laughs> then I might not even I know. I don't need you. I mean, you came on my house and I, my coffee machine broke and, you know, I drink coffee every day. You could just bust up and be, come back and be like, man, I only got your coffee machine. Cause, man, my damn birthday. You know, I need one. You was on the way over here. You was at Walmart anyway. That's what's up. Or you know, I buy, like coffee, buy me some coffee every once in a while. That's so. what's up. That's Good cool. looking out. But, because this is Dave Mary Williams had you, my man, so. It was forty dollars. We finna go up in robes. We finna get some patrol. We finna get some patrol. Ain't it crazy? People will pay for you to drink, and people will be like, "I got you." As far as going out, they won't. Is I need like, I need help with my cash. metro bill. They're not gonna give you that cash. They're not finna pay your phone bill. They're not finna put that on your water bill. None of that. That's Amber's conversation for the day, y'all. It will probably continue, but. Welcome to the first episode of the shit I get that my husband stopped working for. <laughs> Amber Hassan.